The PS1 was released in North America on the 9th of September 1995. And to this day, we are still blown away by the sheer amount of classic titles which were released right at the start of the console's lifespan. Hello, I'm Emily, and these are our top 10 games released within the first year of the PS1. Yeah! An early showcase for 3D graphics in console gaming, Jumping Flash follows a robotic bunny named Robit as he searches for missing jet pods. Travelling from platform to platform in first person was almost hypnotic, and nothing quite captured our imagination like it as children. Still one of the most vibrant games you'll ever play, Ridge Racer proved that arcade-quality games could quite happily be played in your living room. Come on, we all have memories of playing that one track for hours on end, skidding like no tomorrow as we pass that massive waterfall. Ah, oh, good times. With improvements in technology and 3D environments now being viable, consoles like the PS1 were the death knell for 2D platformers. However, not before Rayman would have its say and serve as the genre's last hurrah. A last beautiful hurrah at that, that kicks you firmly in the balls for every little mistake you make. that would be exempt from our list if it were released 10 days later, Die Hard Trilogy was essentially three games in one. You had Die Hard, which was a third-person shooter, Die Hard 2 Die Harder, which was an on-rails shooter, and Die Hard with a Vengeance, where you mowed down pedestrians with a selection of vehicles. Not on purpose, of course, guys. Next, we have a first-person shooter based off the first three movies in the Alien film series. Even though this was one of the earliest FPS games on the PS1, it was still regarded as one of the best in the genre right at the end of the console's lifespan. Oh, not bad. You're gonna have to do a lot better than that. Yeah. Snowboarding rose to prominence in the mid to late 90s. And this is reflected by the sheer amount of snowboarding titles released on the PS1. In the year 2000, there were four snowboarding titles released in just October alone. However, in the first year of the PS1, there was just one. Cool Borders. The game that started it all. Another genre that was hugely popular in PS1 times was, of course, vehicular combat. It seems that almost immediately after 3D environments were viable, developers were putting vehicles in them and creating absolute mayhem. The Twisted Metal series would go on to sell more than 5 million copies by the year 2000. That's not bad going. The original Tekken was released on November the 8th, 1995. The superior sequel, however, hit stores nine and a half months later, and so is just about eligible for us to include here. Tekken 2 introduced various modes that would become staples to the series, such as survival mode, for example. As we all know, the Tekken games are still hugely popular today with Tekken 7 selling over 8 million copies as of 2021. Ah! It's 
Isn't it amazing how many games released within the first year of the PlayStation are still massively popular today? Resident Evil, of course, is now one of the biggest franchises in gaming. And we have to say, has come a pretty long way since Jill and Chris were forced to seek refuge in an abandoned mansion. We love revisiting this classic. Even as children, we knew that the voice acting was utter sh**. But it's all part of the charm, eh? I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. And no, I don't want any cheeky comments on my voiceovers, all right? Now, before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honourable mentions. The Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. Capture him! Released exactly a year after the PS1 launched in North America, Crash's original outing is still as phenomenal as it was all the way back in 1996. The gameplay is great. The visuals are beautiful. There's still all those catchy tunes, like on the Hogs Wild level. It's an absolute masterpiece. And a fitting end to our list. But of course, viewers, this is just one girl's opinion. So what's yours? Would you have preferred that Ace Combat made the top 10? over a bouncing robotic bunny? I don't think so. But let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Round fight. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers. <laughs> Hey, yo!